So after three months in a lockdown, today I am finally going back to work. So I thought I'd do like a weekly vlog just to document what is happening this week because uh, today is the 13th of June. I am going back into work only for four hours today just um, to get ready for opening the shop up on Monday which a lot of shops are opening on Monday, so literally like the whole of lockdown is easing now. Um, I am a little nervous about going back, but I think I'm ready. And I think a four hour day today from 12 to 4 is like good hours just to ease back into it. So I've had breakfast this morning. I am about to go and sort out my hair and makeup. I washed my hair last night and then braided them to the wavy. So when I put some curls in, I don't have to curl my whole head of hair. It's the lazy way of doing it. So now I'm going to go and get ready. And I'm ready. I am here. I am at work. And I've got my face mask ready as well. Which way does it go? I think it's that way. Oh yeah. So I just got these from ASOS. It was like £12 for a pack of two. So put that in my bag, even though we haven't got customers today. It is just workers. But let's get going. Just got back in my car. It's absolutely bloody boiling in my car right now. was a really good day actually we got a few things done but i mean there's all weekend to get stuff done so luckily i'm not having to do absolutely loads today with um half of the team all right let's connect spotify up to my phone and get going I've also completely forgotten to put any sunnies in my car, so currently don't actually have any. So I totally forgot to finish, hello, my vlog on Saturday. Um, I got home from work and I literally just sat with Anthony and talked over my day and his day. And didn't pick the camera back up, just had tea and chilled out. It is now Monday. I am going into my town um, because all the shops officially have opened today. It is Monday the 15th of June and yes. So I'm actually going to meet my mum. My mum is my social bubble because um, she lives alone. So, well, I'm her social bubble. Um, so we are going into town, she's got a few things to go and do and there's a few things I wanted to go and do and places to see. I really want to go to Primark. I'm really hoping the queue isn't too long and doesn't take too long to move. If it's long and it's, if it's quick moving then I think we'll go and join it but I do really want to go in. I've just had the food order delivered as well. I was going to show you, I completely forgot I was supposed to vlog today and I've already put it away. So, that's a good start. So, very happy to have Starbucks back in my life. I've been to Primark, I've got Aldi's stuff, so I've got quite a few things to show you. I'm quite impressed with all this shopping. I am back in the house with all of my goodies, so... I could not resist the sunflowers. There was like, how much were there? £2.75 in Aldi's, so pick them up. I mean, yeah, there is four in there, five in there. I just need to find some vase for them because currently I have got so my main vase is over here with some beautiful flowers in from Bloom and Wild. Beautiful peonies, but I could not resist them as well. I think, I think they might, if they fit, I have to go into this flower pot with these are fake these are from Dunham. Um, it's very humid outside today it's not very warm uh, well actually I would say it's warm but it's not sunny so I have much appreciated 
my Starbucks today. Not going to show you what's in the Primark bag because I am going to film a Primark haul because as you can see it's a pretty big bag. Um, so that can be moved out of the way. And then we went into Aldi's so I've got a few things in my Australia bag. This is what my mum and sister brought back for me after they went to visit my brother and I wasn't able to get. So as well as my sunflowers I also got a bottle of Lucasade. Um, just for some <laughs> a nice drink. It was like 99p. I got my favourite golden vegetable rice. I picked up three of these because they're literally 29p each. And these ones don't have sweet corn in. I don't like sweet corn. Neither does my partner. So non-sweet corn ones. Always stock them then because I don't go in Aldi's very often. Um, I also, they have Fabulosa in there at the moment. And this is the lemon sorbet one that Jotty does. I actually follow Jotty on Instagram. And I love anything lemon scented. So I picked that up even though my other ones not even ran out yet. I just wanted another one. I got some asparagus. I have never tried asparagus before in my life, but my mum likes them and she said I might like them, so I'm going to give them a go. There was like £1.29 or something, so there's no harm in trying them. I love that Aldi's does these. So these are these snack packs of the grapes and they are half the size because when I'm eating grapes by myself, I always end up wasting some. So this size is the perfect size for like two days worth maybe still enough for me um i will probably more likely take this to work with me to snack on also to take to work with me to snack on i got a big big box of pineapple i'm pretty sure there's like a whole pineapple baby in here um but these i like to eat just to snack on because they're really sweet so but they were quite big actually and there you see that's my little aldi haul in my primark bag i've also just found the nail varnish I bought today, I bought a new L <laughs> I see and it looks the exact same colour as whatever's on my nails now. Um, I love Essie nail varnishes and I'm looking for some more nude ones. I have actually ordered some from Amazon. Oh, I've ordered one from Amazon but I don't think I could put this one down. But I paid for it in boots with my card, my boots card. I've got like 20 odd quid on it so I thought instead of spending some more money. I was just putting some stuff away and I just want to show you like these are the best yogurts ever and they're usually really pricey. Where's that sunlight gone? There it is. <laughs> these. Oh my god. Like the ones where you put them in the yogurt. So I got the flake ones and I think I've just got a normal Cadbury's. Yes. Cadbury's buttons ones. These are currently reduced to like 50p. 50p. They are usually like 99p for just one of these. I'm Joey. He's had a haircut when we came out of lockdown. <laughs> and he is so tiny now. If you watch my vlogs, you'll know that he's a very fluffy doggy usually. So I was most definitely thinking that Primark was going to be busy today. With it being the first day it's open and I was surprised it wasn't. I mean my town's Primark is small but it is like the closest one for a good maybe like half an hour. Um, so I was expecting it to be quite busy and it wasn't bad at all. We joined the line and we was maybe about five people in. Um, when we got to the front of the line there was quite a few more. And when we got inside, it still didn't feel like a lot of people was there. And we was in there for maybe about half, 10, 11 o'clock. And whilst we was in there, we actually spent quite a while in there. We was in there for about an hour, me and my mum. Um, we overheard one of the workers actually say they've hit capacity. And that was 250 people. So, And <laughs> I was like, that is a lot of people. And to be honest, looking around, it was hard to get away from people. There was people everywhere in that shop. I mean, I know they were probably banned by the rules, but still think 250 people in there was an awful lot of people to have. Because it is a small shop. I hope that's not 250 for every single shop and they're still applying it to the smaller shops. Um, but, yeah. The queuing was more of an issue inside to pay. Uh, the queue to pay was ridiculous. They were just literally worming it around the shop. That's why it was also so hard to shop. Because they're two metres apart, you had to walk in between people to get to like the different areas. We, me and mum went before, 
So we actually finished our shopping whilst we was upstairs and the upstairs men's um, checkout was so much quicker. There was hardly anybody in it. So that's where we went to check out. So it was a lot quicker than I'm just standing in a big snake in line. But I have bought a few things or one thing for my sister's birthday that's next month and I've bought something for Anthony's birthday which is in September but whilst I was in there I thought I'd get it because now that I've been once I probably won't go now for a while I don't think I'll probably go to town now for a while now that I've been and done everything so it is just turning two o'clock and I need to think about dinner because now that I've actually stopped moving around, I'm starting to get hungry, so I need to get out of my jeans. That also needs to happen. I think I'm going to film the Primark haul tomorrow. Um, yes, because my makeup probably isn't as fresh as it will be tomorrow if I do it and then film and then go to work. Anybody else absolutely obsessed with this filter on Instagram stories? Because I am. But it makes every photo look just so much better. So I've got that one on from, that was yesterday, they are my PDs I showed you earlier. Watched it, Melissa Fent 2 last night. So that's what that is. And then, like, that's my Starbucks today. And I got a photo of my sunflowers as well. But it just makes every photo look so much nicer. So what I use to do all of my nail varnishes is I put them all onto here. So this is something I bought from Shein. It has all of my Essie nail varnishes. So I've just done two coats of the new one on here. Done that, I'm going to have to put it in between the other nudes because they literally all go in like perfect order. So yeah, it's pretty crazy. Um, I've got a load of mix and match. The majority of it is Essie, of course, over here. They're literally my go-to ones. And I've got quite a few Barry M's. And I've also got quite a few Avon ones that I don't really... That I've had just for years. My favourite top coat used to be the Sechery until I got the Essie top coat. And I love this one now so much better. That's looking better now. I can see what's what. So helpful that they have the writing on the tops of them. So much easier to pick out a colour when they're all like this and they've all got obviously the names on them. So I am actually going to call it quits for today in terms of the vlog.